Rated T for Teen. I was born with a... The doctors only knew what it was, but I wasn't supposed to walk. I had to wear those little brown shoes with the wide soles and the, the little braces that come up. And so I never would try to walk because I didn't like them, so I would crawl and drag my lower body with my upper body. And, you know, kids would tease me, mess with me, and make me cry. And when they come to stop me from crying because they feel bad about what they did, I would trip them and beat them up. And my father would sit on the porch and laugh. Said, that boy going to be heavyweight champ one day and be laughing. <laughs> One day I was riding down the street and I seen this gym and I walked in and then the second I walked in, I fell in love with it. When I was a kid, I used to get my ass kicked. My first competitive fight, I got knocked out. All I remember was the, the smell of the mats and uh, the sound of my mum's voice screaming in the background. I was born into fighting. As my dad told me, I don't stop hitting them until they stop moving. I was nine years old, some little bully kid named Brian picked on me. And ever since then, I got into Thai boxing. A couple of months later, I got my revenge. The thing is, I used to get in a lot of fights in school, but I was more of the bully. And I was always the guy beating up people, and that's the reason I started boxing. I got into fighting because my good friend kicked me in the leg and I had to go to hospital. Then when somebody punched me in the face, that's when I knew I wanted to be a fighter. These guys were fighting for nothing. They even had some shows where they had to pay to fight. They'd pay like 75 bucks to get in there and fight and get their teeth knocked out. They just love the sport so much that these fighters would do anything to get in there, and there's nothing more real than that. My mom said, don't do it. You're going to get hurt. <laughs> when my family found out that I wanted to be a fighter, at first, they were pretty hesitant. But once they saw how passionate I was about it and that I was safe while doing it, they have been fully supportive of it. My mother say, you got to be thankful for the things that you can do. Don't ever be jealous of nobody, but don't forget about what you do well. Evander, you see him doing things that heavyweights just don't do. And that's what made him one of the greatest heavyweights of all time. Perseverance is everything. It's dedication and training, dedication and knowledge. The day you quit learning is the day you quit breathing. My inspiration is to be the best pound for pound fighter out there. I don't want to just be no ordinary fighter where I just go up there and people don't even know who you are. I want to be somebody that people are going to remember. I fight for the love of the sport, the love of the competition. The difference between me and every other fighter is that I genuinely enjoy hurting people. I fight for fun. Fighting is a thing that all men should do. That's why you have pectorials, so that you can push your hand through somebody's face. I fight because I want to be a world champion. Easy as that. I fight for honor. I fight for equality. I fight because I was born to fight. I fight for a Japanese word called giri, which is the sense of right and wrong. I fight for all the little kids that people pick on and never thought they would amount to much. I fight for Christ. I fight for my family. I fight for my country. And I will fight for you. You only get to haul off and hit somebody as hard as you possibly can once in your life. You might as well do it, right? This is your fight. This is your fight. This is your fight. This is your fight. This is your fight.